Hi guys, this video is all about changes of state uh, and what they are called between our different states of matter. Let's start by writing down our three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. In this particular video, you might find it helpful to think about these states in terms of water. Water is a very unusual substance because we see it in day-to-day -day life in all three states, which is weird. So you can see water either as a liquid, you can see it in the form of ice, which is a solid, and you can also see it in the form of steam, which is a gas. So if I'm talking about going from solid to liquid, if I asked you what it's called to go from ice to water, you probably already know that process is called melting. Now, if you're to go the other way and turn water into ice or a liquid into a solid, you also probably know that that is called freezing. When we look at the other side and turning from a gas to a liquid, we call that condensing. And you might have heard the word condensation to describe water appearing around cold objects. Well, that's really because water in the air as a gas is turning into a liquid on the surface of that object. The last one is probably the most tricky, to turn from a liquid to a gas. Now, if we're talking about water turning from liquid water to gaseous steam, then you might know that as boiling, but you also might call it evaporation. And both of these processes do convert a liquid to a gas, but they're definitely very, very different processes that you'll learn more about in physics because they're not the same thing as each other. Those are the state changes that you need to know for this syllabus. There are other ones like sublimation or deposition that your teacher might have done with you that are super cool, um, but they're not required for the syllabus.